from platform from one old platform so a lot of the viewers are still going to the other platform so I'm actually moving trying to get them over here as we're talking right. as well as I'm having a conversation with them first of all they said welcome to the show um, they want to let you know that they're here that they're listening to you most of everybody inside the show we have 11 guests five are communicating with me actively right now um, most of them, all of them are Democrats, okay? Okay. Or, uh, excuse me, except for Murph, okay? Murph is not, she will not choose any particular party. Go and Murph. Exactly. She Go. will not. Get away this from the dark side. Said. <laughs> this is what she said leave about them, you. Leave them. Okay? She said, um, personally, I have a problem with all the political parties. I'm not a Republican. I'm not a damn in, uh, independent. I don't live in a box. I hate labels, okay? And um, she said, she said that uh, I like dude. She's t Lenny. She's you, okay? Welcome to California. <laughs> From what I'm hearing, he's making a lot of sense. Common sense. So that's what you'll have to you'll have to understand. The reason why we have a lot of Democrats is because there are people that follow us. That and he, you know, that uh, kind of they're in our social community from all the other usual places that come over. And we send out these promos in the morning on Twitter or friend mm -hmm. feed or whatever, you know. And I'm like, you know, Lenny's gonna be here, right. Shirley's here, and what have you. They like, they love Shirley because she just blurts stuff out, she's bold, and they can laugh at her, but they really want to know exactly. How to understand? They want to understand. Surely, the can Republican I, Party, Danny, and Danny, they, that's what they, they. But they love her, and I, I they always love me. I, I crack guess. jokes about Danny, but I think she's one of the hottest, sexy, light skinned niggas <laughs> on the planet. Murphy. Not me, bro. I've never been me. Red bone. Okay. Red bone. Red bone. Never been. Not that either. It's something in a tree. I'm sure there's a Negro. <laughs> it's just in the tree. Um, Murph, I want to thank you so much for um, being out there and being bold enough to say I'm neither or Republican or Democrat. And let me tell you why. Because being what you are is what we need to be in America. We choose to be a Republican because it embraces the values of what we believe. We're conservative. We have family values. We believe in God. We believe uh, in um, um, capitalism, which you've seen on some of our past shows. And if you had, make sure you go to hiphoprepublican.tv and kind of do a little history about how we talk about commodity versus commodity and money involved. It's the values. You know, we're all Americans. And if we get stuck behind titles, we fail ourselves. It's not the titles. It's what the principles are behind it. The Republican Party is what most believers and most African American in the community, urban people, Asians, even the Latino family, the Catholic family, is more Republican than they are Democrat. They're not liberal. They don't think outside of family and, and the way that the mindset moves on that side. There are more people like you and me than there are that are on the other side. What has happened is we are, as a people, like you heard Lenny talk about earlier, being raised in a community where you really didn't have a choice. You're supposed to be Democrat. Fortunately for me, I was blessed. And I started out as a Republican at the beginning of the stage. Of course, I could have easily changed once I understood as, as I got older in life about being a Republican. But the values of what the party stand for, what they believe in, uh, capitalism, lower tax, all those things are issues that the Republican Party stand for. But as an American, when we see injustice on both sides of the party, then that's when we speak up and we say, we don't care about party because if the Republicans aren't right, we want them out. If the Democrats aren't right, we want them out. And right now, this current administration has lost their mind on spending. They're like a child that's been given a wallet to do what they want on your time, on your energy, and on your dime. So I'm saying to you, America, like we were talking about the tax pool, that middle section that continues to get lost in the midst because we continue to let the leaders at the top lose us why aren't you mad as hell why aren't you speaking up like we're hearing about Lenny talk about the things going on in this country and how we need to look at the perspective from an American perspective not just from a Republican or a Democrat those darn losers perspective Lenny what do you think about that I think you gave it a pretty accurate portrayal of why we choose to be Republican. I think that the the thing that we miss in America is the ability to debate, debate passionately and respectfully, but to bring issues to the table and facts. One of the things that I, I do disagree with you about is that black America, I would say people our age and younger, we are sliding left. We are sliding left in a, in a very curious way. We want government to do more but we also want all of the 
benefits of being American. We want all the benefits of a free market society, but we want the government to pay for it. And you can't have it both ways. A government that will provide your health care will also eventually tax you on soda pop, will tax you on corn chips, will tax you on what you eat. And subsequently, people may say, well, that's okay, we're paying for the health care. But that's also guiding what you eat. Then subsequently from there, it's okay, well, driving a car is at risk. So if you have a, an hour and a half commute one way, each way, we're going to give you a commute tax because of your carbon footprint, which is making people want unhealthy. It is also going to provide more of a risk for your life. And if you get into a car accident, you race, you know, those type of rates, I have to pay for that. You start allowing that to happen. That's a way for government to control individuals' lives. So when you hear people at these tea parties talk about individual freedoms, that's the argument they're making, is that if you let the government do too much for you, then they can say too much to you. That's correct. And subsequently start guiding the decisions for you with your day-to-day -day life. What, one of the things I agree with you on the day-to-day -day life. Mike Cavett on we, the leftist part. On the leftist part. One of the things I say on hiphoprepublican.tv <laughs> is that you basically take the shackles off of your feet and you put them on your mind. And that is government. But I, 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 we have the right to disagree. That's why I think hip-hop is transcending. And that when we go back to the foundation of hip hoppers who were told uh, run DMC, and when they were told that you know we don't want your record label, they say great. Russell Simmons says we'll do our own, we'll do our own distribution. You know I don't like you wearing Adidas. They you know, went, they promoted Adidas. Adidas I dollars know. blew up because okay? of run DMC. Because of run DMC. But what happened was you know Russell said forget it. We'll start our own line of clothes. We'll start our own line of shoes. We'll start our own line. So as not only urban Republicans. Of conservative values, we're not always looking for the government. Well, okay? they, they, that's that's what pisses me off because people think I can tell you on the West Coast, you have to hustle to live in this state. This is not a cheap state. It's not a state that is only we give a lot of money out, but there's a lot of players on the street. They're pushing their CDs, they're pushing their hats, they're buying stuff, they're promoting their T-shirts. Uh, that is part of capitalism, and that is not African Americans saying, "Hey, give me a check, and I want a check over here." That some of people are doing that, but a lot of them are fighting for their independence to not be government dependent. Yeah, there are definitely a lot of people doing that, but there's also a lot of them that will take their political philosophy and think that the government should do more, and think that the, the government. But it's, it's not expand. the government; the people. The government is the people's money, but the government. But the government is the people who we put in place to represent the people. But what has transpired is this. We have allowed over the course of the last several decades on both sides of the aisle to allow the government to be a self-sufficient entity full of quasi-royalty that are not been held to a they That's have correct. not been held to a level of accountability they should be held to and subsequently it, it has started atrophying as a representative government. So now you can talk about the government as an entity. You can now talk about those bureaucracies as an entity and then talk about the people. The problem that we need to overcome both as Democrats and Republicans and you hear from the Tea Party movement, which is a nonpartisan movement, and you hear from other activists, is we need to start taking government, people, and do this again. That's why you I, know, I talk to well, the this political this, brother. I want to hear his perspective exactly, on this that. This is exactly where we come together. I totally agree with Lenny about that leaning toward the quote unquote left. The, the issue I make as the resident leftist who's neither. Uh, Republican or political on the conversion that is that it's that it's conversion. the kind of conversion to the left that those of us on this side don't really appreciate. It's almost like the la di da. Obama capitalized upon a movement that was a social movement that people saw. That shift to the left represented to me the young folks embracing, as you say, kind of a government's going to solve everything if we just vote. Government's going to solve everything because it was a kind of naivete. That's true. That to me, that many of us who are more radical, we knew it was not going to work. But also, Mario, you got to look at this. Some of those young people, 23, 24 years old, have grandparents that grew up on Johnson's Great Society. They were born in 1965, 1966, and now they're 20 years old helping on these presidential campaigns, let's say. Or people that grew up in, you know, late 60s, early 70s. They grew up with government programs already being in place and an expectation.